Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Deanne Castro, Creative Memories Advisor in Bakersfield, California. And today I have a project recipe page that I wanna share with you. This is actually back from December, 2020. So um, it's kind of old, but I really like the patterns in it and I really like the way it looks. So let's go over to desktop and I have a lot of light on this. Let me see if I can get some of the glare off of here. Okay, so um, this uses two background sheets of paper, okay? And then three other sheets of paper. Um, this one is a cardstock. This one is a designer paper. And this one is a designer paper, okay? So um, I really like the way the bottom of this looks. This particular one, I didn't exactly follow the directions. This was using the National Scrap Book Day paper from this year. Um, so I used one of the 12 inch laser cut borders on it. Um, but tonight I'll show you how to use the punch. We'll use the directions the way they say. Okay, so I'm actually using the birds and blossoms paper today it's very similar colors to the national scrapbook day i really like how they go together um and the colors are just so so pretty this year so this is what i'm going to be using right now so i'm using this page as a background page this is light green leaf paper and then i'm using this one this is kind of a light blue with lots of little different bird houses on it. So these are gonna be the two background sheets. So I'm gonna move these out of the way for now. Then I'm going to use this one with the punch. I'm gonna be using this new leaf punch. Oh shoot, I don't remember what it's called. Um, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the name of this, but it, it's uh, pretty new. It's only been out maybe about a month. And so I'm gonna use that with this designer paper. Then I'm gonna use this one, which is this really pretty orange color, and then the birds and the nests for the other two sheets, okay? So the first one we're going to start with we need to take and punch two punches, two border punches out of this paper. So if you haven't used these before, this is where you put the paper in. If you're gonna be punching and moving the paper to the left, if you're gonna put the paper in and move it to the right, then you will use this mark right here. I typically go to the left then once you've punched it once, you move it over and then you match the pattern up with the blue on this tray, okay? And then punch again. So that's kind of how that works. So I'm putting the paper in. I'm gonna line it up with this black line. See, so I'm lining the paper up against that back line right there. Then I'm also gonna make sure that the paper is pushed all the way to the back of the tray here. Okay, now I'm going to I'm not going to move it over. And then I'm going to make sure that it's the pattern that I just punched covers up all the blue on this tray. Okay, so it matches that. So I know it's going to punch correctly and push the paper against the back here. And so you just continue to do that all the way across. Maybe a couple more times. Okay, so we've punched one of these, and we're going to cut it at, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, this says trim to one inch, but it was using a different older punch. So I'm gonna trim this. That what kind of makes sense. Let me look at the one inch and see. The one is just gonna cut off what we've just punched. So if I trim this at one and a half, that will keep the whole punch on there. And it'll look good when we uh, when we get it on the page. Okay, so there's one strip. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this, line it up with the black line on the left. Make sure the paper is punched pushed all the way to the back of the tray. Okay, I'm going to punch again, and then move it over. Make sure the pattern is punched. Powers up on the blue on the left hand side. And I'm just going to continue to do that across, just like I did the first time. Okay, and now I've got that cut, and I'm going to cut this one at one and a half inches as well. All right, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to be cutting some photo mats with the rest of this paper. So I'm gonna cut it at four inches. I'm gonna cut a four by 12 inch piece. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut it again at four by 12. And that just leaves me just a little piece here that I'm not going to use. So you can hang on to that for something for later, or you can toss it. It's up to you. Now I'm going to take these two pieces that are four by 12. I'm going to stack them. And you don't have to stack them. You can cut them individually. But I'm just going to cut them in half lengthwise. So I'll have four six by four inch photo mats. Okay, and then we're done with that color paper. Next, I'm gonna take this orange and I'm gonna cut it at three and a half by 12 twice. So I'm gonna cut one, that's three and a half by 12, and a second one at three and a half by 12. Okay, so there's two at three and a half by 12. Then I'm gonna cut this last piece by three inches. Okay, you don't need this piece that off to the side. And then I'm gonna take this and turn it 90 degrees and I'm gonna cut two three by three inch squares. So there's one and two. And then I don't need the rest of this. So this is scrap as well. Okay. Then I'm going to take the last piece, which is going to be the birds in the nests. And I'm going to cut first two by 12 inches. I'm just going to make sure it's straight all the way up and down along that line. This one is two by 12, and I'm going to cut a second one at two by 12. Okay, and then I'm going to cut 
this larger piece at three inches. You won't use the rest of this, so that's scrap. You can put it off to the side. Take this one, turn it 90 degrees, and cut it at three inches. And you're going to do that twice. So you'll have two three by three inch squares, just like we did with the orange. Okay, and then this is scrap. Now it gets a little tricky. What I want to do is I'm going to take these two pieces that are three and a half by 12. And I'm going to cut them at an angle. Okay, and I'm going to put this top left corner on the two inch. Right along where it's going to cut right about the two inches and I'm going to line it up with this 45 degree line here on the trimmer. Can you see that right there? There's this 45 degree line on this trimmer and I'm going to line the paper up with that and when I do that it's going to put the point right up here at the two inch line. Okay. I'm going to line it up and have that tip right on the two inch line. And then I'm going to pull this little piece down out of the trimmer and make sure that it cuts right on that tip. Okay. Let's see if you can see this. So see, here's a line on this plastic piece. That is where the trimmer actually cuts. So if I move this up, it's going to cut right on the edge on that point on that paper. Okay, so make sure it's lined up on that 45 degree line and cut. So now you've got this one triangle. Okay, then I'm going to move this paper up to where the corner is at the seven inch. Okay, so where this bottom corner is still right along the 45 inch, 45 degree line. But this little point down here, the bottom left corner is on the seven inch. Okay, and it cuts there. So I have this piece, this diamond piece. And then I'm going to cut it one more time. Check the directions here just to make sure. So it says rotate. Hmm. We'll see if that works. I may have cut that, not cut that quite right. So I'm going to line this up in the 45 degree line. And then I'm going to line the bottom right up with the cut line here and cut this triangle off of this side. Okay, so I've got the bottom triangle right down here on the cut line, still on the 45 degree line. Okay, and then this triangle. So, um, I'm going to take the second one. Okay, so this one, I'm going to cut the same way. I'm going to turn it over. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the top left corner. This is again along the 45 degree line, and the top left corner is on that cut line. 
Okay, and I'm going to cut. So now I've got the triangle, but it's it's kind of backwards, a little bit backwards. Okay, and that's going to go on, go on the other page. Now this one. It says, place the strip on the drummer at angle two inches from the top of the drummer, two inch mark, to create the corner piece. Rotate the same strip and repeat to the other corner to create piece I. Okay, well, so it says to do it this way. But that makes that piece really big. And I don't remember it being big when I made it the last time. Well, let me look at the other one. Look at these here. It doesn't make sense to me what it's telling me to do. Okay. I'm just going to cut this the same. We'll just see how it turns out. Okay, so the seven inch. Bottom corner of the seven. And that's this one here. And then the bottom right corner on the cut line. And it's along the 45 degree line. And this corner. Okay. So now we're going to take the two inch pieces. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Top left corner on the two inch line along the 45 degree line there. And we've got a smaller corner because this piece is smaller. Okay. Move this up. To the seven inch, still keeping the paper on the 45 degree line. Our bottom left corner is on the seven inch. And that goes on that page. Move it up so that the bottom right corner is on the cut line. And the rest of it is along the 45 degree line. Trim. And then we've got this other little corner. Okay, same for this one. Turn it over. The left page, Grace. Right from the left side at one and three quarters from the left edge of the corner. I'm going to have to redo this video, guys, because I've got this wrong. It's not going to look right. Okay, so I've got the top right corner up at that two-inch mark along this 45-degree line. When I've got it, I flipped it over, and we're going to be putting it on the other side of the page. Okay, move over there. Move it up to where the bottom left corner is on the seven. This is on the 45 degree line. That goes on this page. Move it up. It's on the 45 degree line with the bottom right corner on the cut line. And I've got that piece there with the triangle. Okay. Let's see if I did this right. So I'm going to take my right hand background page, my left hand, sorry, left hand page background first, line it up on my mat, and then I need the pieces that I cut for this side. Okay, so. Oh, 
the corner is going to go here. And this actually shows you flipping the corner over. And then this goes here. This is actually the right side. And flip this corner. Okay. And this one will go here. It's going to overlap on top of this larger orange piece here. Okay. And then this other piece. It's going to go here. Now, I'm not sure I like flipping these corners, okay? That's what the directions say. If you like it with a paper that you've chosen, that's great. Feel free to um, just leave it like that. But my other one, I went back to the original color. And so it's gonna look about like this. So you can play with it. You can see what you like. You can see if you liked the back side of that. I'm kind of looking at it on the camera. And it looks good. I think I'm gonna turn it back over and put it here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the corners. I'm going to adhere those down. Okay, so this one goes here. And I'm going to put the other corner down next. right along edge right here. Okay, with that corner right there. So I'm going to take this bigger piece and just kind of center it in here where there's about the same distance on each side to put the other piece on top. Put the adhesive on it. So it looks like if I put it at about 10 and a quarter, I just put this bottom right part of this, uh, it's not a triangle. Um, I don't even know what that's called. This, this orange piece. I put the bottom corner right here about 10 and a quarter inches. It looks like it is kind of equidistance on here. Now I'm going to take the burrs and I'm going to lay them just over the orange piece and over this empty space right here. I'm going to push it right up against that triangle. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just right up against that triangle, we can sit right on the end there. Oh, it doesn't match pretty well.
Let's get this to match. There we go. That's better. Okay. Then we're going to put some of the other photo mats that we've cut. I'm going to put one here. And we're going to put one here. And then you can turn it over if you want, if you like the other side to use as a photo mat. I think I'm going to keep them consistent. And I'm going to put one of these here. And one of these here. Okay, so you can all you can move them up and down a little bit, however you want to arrange them here on your page. Okay, and I don't have photos for these at the moment. So I'll just put a little bit of reposition below here. This one about here. And if you want, you can make them all go just kind of straight across. I always like mine a little offset. But the instructions say to kind of put them straight across so that they're kind of even up and down. I'm just going to alter that just a little bit. Okay, so here's the right page. So now I'm going to switch my background, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And the pieces should go the opposite direction. I'm going to go in the opposite direction. direction. Just like that. Okay, so I need this triangle here. That one there, and these triangle here. Okay, so I'll adhere those down. Now I'm going to make this one like I did the other one, just kind of centered for the other pieces to overlap on it. So if I put this at about, let's see, about right here, this corner will be at about one and three quarters down here. This is at about the six and three quarters mark here. Okay. I'm going to take these and tear them down here. Might have to finagle it just a little bit because if you get cut off this slightly, then they don't want to back exact. So just do your best, and then you can always trim. Turn the corners off and they don't match exactly. And I'm gonna move this one over here. And it's a little long, the rest of this. So I'm gonna move it down. And then I can trim off the excess off the end of the page here. Okay, and I'm going to put this one on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, now it's just a little off. So I'm going to turn this over. And um, you can see it's hanging off the page just a little bit here and a little bit here. So I'm just going to trim this off to match the bottom of the paper. On both of these. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with the photo mats as we did on the other side. We'll have this one here. And this one here. This one here. And this one here. So these. We punch these. These. And go right along here, right on the top. So if, if you've got some right there on the top area that just didn't match real well, this border will cover it. Until I forgot those. And I looked over there, huh? Okay, use my like position little adhesive on here. Put this stuck down. It's not straight. What am I doing here? It's right about. It's down too far. I'm going to put this at about three and a quarter up from the bottom. So then this side will be about at the nine and a quarter up from the bottom. Okay. And then adhere down the maris. Okay, so now that page is complete. Let me bring this one back over here and put a punched piece on there. So it can be really complete. Okay. So this one here again is about three and a quarter up from the bottom. So this on this side would be about nine and a quarter up from the bottom. And there we go. We've got these two pages all done for you guys. So this is the right and this is the left. And you've got two beautiful pages just waiting for you to complete with some photos. Okay, so I hope you like this one. I thought it was really pretty and um, it really is fairly easy. Once you know that the, the papers that you're cutting on an angle, one you cut right side up, the other one for the other side, you turn over and cut from the other side. All right, so if you like this video, go ahead and click like. And if you think about it, and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And then if you click on the bell, it will let you know each week when I do have videos come out. So 
Hope you have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you again soon. All right. See ya. Bye.